Hello and welcome to BioGalaxy Online. Today we are going to discuss Lindemann's 10 person law. 10 person law was proposed by Raymond Lindemann in the year 1942. According to 10 person law, 90% of the energy captured from the free base trophic level is lost as heat to the environment, and only 10% is made available to the next trophic level. To understand this law, let us take a look at a simple food chain. In this food chain, solar energy gets trapped in the form of food by the process of photosynthesis by the grasses. A part of that energy goes into the body of the primary consumers, which are the rabbits over here, and a part of the energy received by the rabbits goes into the body of the secondary consumer. Let us uh, assume that almost 1000 joule of energy is available at trophic level 1. Then, 100 joule of energy would be available at trophic level 2. We can also calculate the amount of energy available at each trophic level with the help of this 10% law. For example, 10% of 1000 joule is 100 joule and 10% of 100 joule is 10 joule. So we can see that almost 10% of the energy captured by the former trophic level is moving into the next trophic level. So we can conclude that almost 90% of the energy is lost in the form of heat energy and only 10% of the energy captured by the former trophic level is available to the next trophic level. We can also understand this law with the help of this pyramid of biomass. In this pyramid of biomass, the first trophic level is occupied by the producers and by looking at this pyramid of biomass, we can see that almost 2000 kg of producer at trophic level 1 can support 200 kg of primary consumers at trophic level 2. Similarly, 10% of 200 kg, that's equivalent to 20 kg. So 20 kg of biomass would be available for the top predator of that ecosystem. So it indicates for every 20 kg of jackal, there must be at least 2000 kg of producer in that ecosystem. This is what Lindemann's 10 person law is all about. We can also test our understanding with the help of a simple question. Make sure you answer that question in the comment section below for better understanding of that topic. Hope you like and enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative biology videos.